Dr. Donnie Burke here, boys, and today we got another hobby box of 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. And uh, I realize at this point most people are probably getting pretty sick of this, getting pretty sick of this stuff, but the new stuff isn't out yet, not until next month, and uh, it's a snowy, sort of rainy day here. Kids are all napping. I wanted to rip some hockey cards. So, Series 2, we're going to do some cider hunting. Still haven't pulled the... Uh, Still haven't pulled the Cider Young Gun yet. I did the retail box of it last video, one of my previous videos. Didn't pull him there. And uh, other than having pulled that uh, Ricky Threads of him, still haven't pulled his Young Gun. So we'll be shooting for that today. And also uh, Byfield. I'll be shooting for Byfield as well. Um, I did pull a uh, Mason McTavish out of that last one, which was a pretty nice hit. Didn't uh, didn't do as well as I thought it would when I sold that card, but I uh, should have just kept it. Pretty standard stuff. 24 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. Um, young guns are one in four, so we should be getting six of those. Um, it'd be nice to get uh, young guns canvas, maybe. Uh, I did get one of those programs of excellence canvases of Byfield last time. That was a pretty cool hit. Um, not worth a ton of money, but just a cool one, and actually kind of hard to get there. One in, uh, what were they? I can't remember. I can't remember what they are. But anyway, um, reasonably hard to hit. So yeah, so it'd be nice to get that. Uh, I've yet to pull a clear-cut parallel out of any of these. Uh, this is only my second hobby box, but still, I didn't. I, I've yet to pull out a clear-cut parallel. So that would be a nice one to get. And um, other than that, French parallel. I've pulled a French parallel. Uh, there you go. Series of program excellence. One ninety-two. That's what it was, I think. Uh, anyway, it'd be cool to pull a uh, hobby box exclusive. Um, some of, these, some of these, any of these other, any numbered card. I have pulled uh, one of the 1 in 10 high gloss cards. I pulled a Robert Thomas out of uh, the f other box of this I did. So that'd be nice. So anyway, uh, let's get into it and uh, see if we can pull some cider. And as always, if you guys are uh, into this kind of thing, you like seeing box openings, uh, pack openings, hit the bell icon, subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. One thing that is coming this week uh, on the 26th, I believe, is the uh, 2022 Upper Deck CFL. So it's kind of a weird thing. A lot of people are into that, but I like it. So uh, stay tuned for that. I will definitely be buying a box of that and hopefully have that up Wednesday, Thursday. See how quickly I can get the video edited. I have a lot of kids, you know. Hopefully hit that cider. So base cards. Everybody knows and loves at this point. If you haven't seen it, you've been living under a rock or something. Long-term injury, Mike Smith. You might as well call him retired. Arturi Lekkonen, Kevin Rooney, and a superstar honor roll of Robin Leonard not playing this year. Sucks for him. And this is Athanasiu, Elias Lindholm, Ivan Provorov, and Lawson Kraus. Number two, Brady Tuchuk. Looks like we've got our first young gun here. Matthew Joseph, Kyle Ocposo, and is it Oscar Steen again? Oscar Steen. This is my third Oscar Steen. Cannot escape Oscar Steen. It's like a, if I remember correctly, two or three dollar card. I have also pulled his Young Guns canvas as well. So there's Oscar Steen, Besser, White Cloud, Alex Klorn, and Nikita Zaitsev. So there's our first Young Gun. Should be getting five more. Radek Faxa, Chris Greasy Heritanev, Matthew Barzal, Michael Rasmussen, and. Marky Ricky Retro of Matt Kierstad. Maybe up Florida, right? With Hansas. Yep. So we played seven games in 2021. No points. So there's our first Marky Ricky Retro. Holstrom, Couturier, and Orloff. So we got a Blue Dazzlers here. Jonathan Taze, Ryan Strom, Robbie Fabry, Ryan McDonough, and Lucas Raymond Blue Dazzlers. All right, well, that's... Not a bad one at all there as far as the Dazzlers go. That's a first year or rookie, I guess. Lucas Raymond, he is one of the nice young guns in here. So not a bad hit there. The Blue Dazzlers are 1 in 24, I think, if I remember looking at the stats correctly. So that's not bad. And Bjorkstrand, Giordano, and Brandon Carlo. He's out of the box in any particular order. I'm just grabbing packs. We got a John Marino. We got, oh, I was going to say a rookie materials card. Tom Wilson, P.K. Subban, and a jersey card of Sampo Ranta. Oh, I have pulled his young guns before. So there's Ricky Materials, Sampo Ranta there. It's Leon, Nathan, Tyler Mott. There you go, Sampo Ranta. Give us your trading card, blah, 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 certified by the Upper Deck Company, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there we go. So we got our Ricky Materials for the box. Sampo Ranta, not, eh. Not exactly one of their most highly touted prospects there, but it's not so. Also, the uh, classic napkin patch. 
So it definitely could be a better patch or better jersey as well. The other uh, the other materials card I pulled out of my other blocks was the Shane Pinto, which I like a little better. So it should be another Young Guns here. We got Nate McKinnon, Steve Stamkos, Essa Lindell, and Jake Neighbors, Young Guns. All right, well that's not bad. I mean, Neighbors is uh he's playing on the team. I know because I just watched the Oilers lose to them yesterday. Not a bad one there with Neighbors. Again, no cider, but we'll take a Neighbors for sure. So yeah, Mac, I have not there anymore. Frank Vetrano, Max Patches, and Barry Eaton. All right, so Peachy. Peachy insert by the look of it here. Casey Suzukis, John Leonard, Philip Aronik, and Marky Ricky of William Eklund there. Sam Bennett, JVR, The Nuge, and Jonathan Duran. All right. TJ Oshie, another young gun. Jake Muzzin. Jared Anderson Dolan and is that Pod Colson? Yep, Vasily Pod Colson. Again, not a bad one. He's playing on the team this year. Uh, the the team is uh, having their struggles this year. Lost again last night. So that's rough for you Canucks fans. But there's Pod Colson. He's definitely a decent rookie. I guess he's second year now on the team. But yeah, there. <laughs> I hope Vancouver can figure it out. Mitchy, 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 Valerie Nachuskin, Cal Connor, and Nick Paul. Oh, canvas, okay. Canvas is unkind. All right. So we got Alec Martinez, Kelvin D. Hahn, Andrei Sveshnikov, Zach Coyotes Cassian, and a UD canvas of Charlie McAvoy. The black at the top there being an outdoor game kind of threw me off. So what the heck is that? It's a standard canvas, Charlie McAvoy, Ryan Lindgren, Colton Sissons, and Jamie Benn. All right. Alex. Peter Angelo, Peter Angelo, Peter Angelo, Peter Angelo, Phil Hot Dog Castle, Tyson Bowie, Vinny Trochak, and another Zach Parise Retro, upside down, Robert Thomas, that's the one of ten that I pulled to him, high gloss, Victor Olsen, and a Connor Murphy. Hopefully we'll get a number card of some kind out of this one, be nice. Uh, Sievertson, Jason Spezza, Ryan Getzlaff, another UD Canvas of Artemi Panarin, Sturkin, Tyler Bertuzzi, Patrick, Sweet Hair Maroon, and Evgeny Gino Malkin. Retro, maybe? Not sure what that is. Anyway, all right. Sam Steele, Dante Fabro, Owen Tippett, and, well, look who decided to show up. There we go. Finally pulled him. Moritz Sider. Detroit Red Wings. You don't have to say I haven't been uh, paying attention to the Red Wings this year, so I don't know how good they're doing or how good he's doing. But we were due. We were definitely due to definitely due to hit ourselves a cider, so there we go. There's our cider. Him in his place of excellence over here. Very good. All right, well, the rest of the box now is kind of irrelevant, although yeah, the rest of the box has been pretty good. This is a, this is a hot box. I was at Don Larkin and Tyson Jones, and yet again, this is another box where I got the guy at the card store to grab it for me. Uh, and so far, in like the seven or eight things I've gotten that particular card store for the guys working to grab me, they have not steered me wrong. So shout out to those guys, your beauties. Ilya Samsonov now on the Leafs. Marco Scandella, Ivan Barbashev, Jonas Brodin, and Mark Giordano now also on the Leafs. Canvas, Mark Stahl, Table Turbine, and Mike McLeod. Matthew Highmore, Matt Maple Leaf Murray, Joe Pavelski, Jonathan Quick, and Marky Ricky of Hendricks Lapierre. Matt Dumba, Brian Rust, and UC Valenaki. So, UC, right? You so. UC Valenaki. Ryan O'Reilly, Paul Stassi, Hayden Fleury, Drake Batherson, and a Duncan Keith OPG Retro. Thankfully, he retired. He did us all a solid. Connor Sheary, Igor Sharangovich, and Quinn Hughes. We got a Bowen Byroom, Ilya Labushkin, Chris Dreger. We got another young gun hiding here behind Rocco Grimaldi. And this one is William Eklund, San Jose. I believe I have an Eklund in the collection already. Swedish, 40 games. Oh, well, this is the French variation of William Eklund. Cool. I always miss the French. French. I just like recognize the look of the, recognize the overall look of the young gun and always forget that this is French. So. The other French I pulled was a Fabian Zetterlin. So now we got an Eklund French variation there. It's probably worth 15 bucks or so. 
See if my guess on that's correct. Braden Point, Rupe, can't escape him hints, and Alex Kovechkin. One of these days I will pull, I will get a box that doesn't have Rupe hints in it. Probably not, though. Outside of French variation would have been nice. Anyway, Henry Yukiharu. We got a Dustin Brown. We got an Andrew Majapani. We got an Evgeny Kuznetsov. Yudi Canvas, Colton Pareko, Brandon Tanev, Gabilardi, and Rudolph's Balsers. Balsers. We'll see. All right. Logan Couture, Braden McNabb, Ryan Hartman, Bo Horvat. I have about three of this canvas. Wayne Simmons, Maxim Comtois, Jordan Cairo, and Neil Pionk. Pionk? Pionk, I think. All right. Ilya Sarokin. Alexander Texier. Should be another young gun. Who we got there? One, two, three, four. This will be our final young gun, probably. Nino Niederreiter. And final young gun is William Lockwood. If I'm honest, I have. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at the young gun list. Uh, I know nothing about him. Right handed, 172 pounds. And same position he plays? Yeah, it's insane. Anyway, all right. So there's Ryan Lockwood there. So that's probably our final young gun. Boone Jenner, Cam Talbot. Trent Frederick and Brandon Hagel. Seven. Seems to be like a reasonably hot box. As far as... Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like something interesting here. So, Mike Riley, Travis Hamannick, Anthony Mantha. What is this? I don't know what this card is. A fluorescence of Kirill Vilmelka. Kirill Vilmelka? Interesting. I just read in the uh, back of the box. Oh, and a yeah, Jesus. All right. Well, this is a hot box for sure. So, Corel Velmelka, fluorescence. It's Velmelka. Hmm. I'll quickly have to check what the uh, odds are on this card. In the meantime, I'll put that down. In the meantime, there's uh, Frederick Allard, Young Guns. So, yeah, this is a hot. This is a good, this is a good box for sure. And before I check that card out, Connor Brown, John Klingberg, and Anze Kopitar. All right, so Fluorescence Red is uh, 1 in 44. So that's a rookie Fluorescence Red, 1 in, four, 1 in 44. So those are pretty cool cards. I forgot those were in there. I've never actually seen one. So there you go, 1 in 44 for Vilmelka. Not the, you know, craziest prospect, but he's, he's playing, I think. As far as I know, he's actually playing this year, so very nice. Right, what can I possibly have left in the tank here? Alexander Barkov, Austin Matthews, hasn't scored a goal yet somehow, four or five games in, Miko Rantanen, Andrew Kopp, and UD Portrait, rookies of Philip Tomasino in Nashville. There's Portrait, surprised we actually have gotten more of those. Jordan Eberle, Mika Zibanejad, and David Pasternak. All right. As always, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, you want to see more open more of this stuff, feel free to uh, like the video, follow, and uh, social media there. Really only, really only Instagrams, but my only social media, but it's just under Duster Donnie Brook, as you'd expect. Travis Sanheim, Christian Fisher, Philip Cheadle, Scott Lawton, and Lucas Raymond on a roll. All right. Why not? So there's Lucas Raymond on a roll there. We'll stick him on our little Raymond pile there. Mark Stone, and Kevin Fiala, and Kyle Yamamoto. Yamamoto. This is kind of crazy, actually, so all right. Alexander Romanov. Ricard Raquel, Casey Middlestadt, yeah, we another portraits. I knew we had to get more. Connor Hellbuck and UD portraits of David Ferentz. In Nashville, so it's two Nashvilles, right? Nashville, why did I just put my base cards there? It's dumb. Yeah, so we got two, two UD portraits, Nashville rookies, Nick Suzuki, Teddy Bluger, and Mikhail Backlund. All right, so we got a marquee rookie blue there. Nikita Kucherov, Nicholas Abukobel, Vladislav Gavrikov, and a Adam Ruzichka. Adam Rzichka, Rookie Blue, Marky Rookie Blue, Rock Nelson, Patrick Alaini, Jake Gardner, and poor old cowboy hat wearing Carey Price. Want him back playing. It's no good. All right, so lower lower excitement, lower value uh, inserts. We've got the Adam Rzichka, Rookie Blue. we got two Nashville rookie portraits. Phil Horvat, which I pulled a million of. Kuznets of, a retired Duncan Keith, Hendrix Lapierre, Mark Giordano, our Tim Panarin, some retro more. Marky Ricky William Eklund, so a retro rookie, and yeah, so nothing crazy there. Typical insert stuff, not bad, not great. Got our sample Ranta rookie materials there. Napkin patch, but all right, not bad. Well, our pair of Lucas Raymonds, the Dazzlers and the Honor Roll. 
guns. Nice rookie stuff there. Young guns. One, two, three, four, five, six. We hit seven young guns. So we overshot our quota on the young guns, which is fantastic. Never complained about that. So some some lesser. There's a French one, the Beckland, which is cool. Um, Plot Colson's not bad. Neighbors is a good one. And Oscar Skeen, I just I'm just gonna pull twenty of these guys. Twenty of Oscar Skeen. I apparently I just love Oscar Skeen. Obviously, obviously cider's a huge one there. Been hunting cider for a while, and uh, card looks pretty good. Not completely perfect this edge up there. Not exactly completely so, but it's a it's just in good shape. Given uh, upper decks quality control as of late, really can't complain about that one. It's in good shape. And the uh, big surprise here, the fluorescence of Kirill Vomilka. That's pretty cool. I, like I said, I knew these cards were in there, but this is the first one I've seen. Never even thought to look one up to see what they look like, so it's more fun that way. Pull a card and be like, what the heck is that? I like that better. So there you go, guys. So yeah, thanks for sticking around, and uh, hope you enjoyed that one. Like I said, the uh, waiting for Series 1 to come out next month. Um, I think the 16th is when it comes out, something like that. I should probably know this. I'll put it on screen if I got that wrong. So that's coming. Uh, we will definitely be doing a box of the CFL 2022. Even though my riders just blew it and they're out of the playoffs, they sucked. They didn't deserve to make the playoffs anyway. Uh, we'll open it. I, I like the CFL stuff. It's cool cards. So the new one finally coming out uh, Wednesday this week. So hopefully I have a video up Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. So thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.